Hello, my name is Martin from Revelation Software and I would like to welcome you to this second part of my video presentation looking at the use of dashboards with an open insight. More specifically, the use of Bravo dashboard that ships with open insight version 9. During this video, I will refer to the Sierra Bravo dashboard simply as the Bravo dashboard. Over the next few minutes, we will look at what is involved in setting up Open Insight to use the Bravo dashboard and then working with the dashboard itself. If you are a work subscriber, you can run through everything in this video using version 9 and the quick start guide that is included within the installed software. Otherwise, you can download an evaluation version of Open Insight from one of our websites and use that instead. Just make sure that you are using version 9 or later. Again, the quick start guide is included within the installed evaluation software. Before we can begin working with the Bravo dashboard, there are a few things we need to do. The first is to go to the command line. And we need to navigate to wherever we've got our copy of Open Insight installed. In my case, this is RevSoft off the C drive. And if we check the version using um, Java minus version, the system will come back and tell us which version of the Java runtime environment we have installed on our machine. If you don't have one, you can get a copy of the environment from http colon slash slash java dot com slash en slash download now don't worry too much about all of the uh, information that I'm giving in here because everything that I'm going to run through in this video is covered in the Bravo quick start guide okay so once we've got our environment installed the next thing we need to do is to install the Bravo service itself now that can be located in your copy of open insight you need to get a copy of the BD board folder and simply copy and paste that onto your C drive to the root of your machine. So I've got mine here. Once that's installed, we go back to the command line and this time we need to navigate to the BD board folder. And you can install the service by typing bravo dashboard minus i. Now, mine is already installed. It says here the specific services already exists, so I'm good to go. If you're doing this for the first time, then you'll receive a success message. Once we've got that installed, the next thing that we need to do is to install the OEngine server. And again, that's located in the RevSoft directory and can be installed by navigating to the OE server folder, opening that, and running the install app-nt.bat file. You'll notice that there's two BAT files here. One is a TAP and one is a plain app. The TAP is for Telnet servers and we don't need that right now. So just run the installed app-nt. Again, I've already got my service running on my machine so I'm not going to do anything with that right now. Uh, before we actually run up the service, it's worth pointing out that the dashboard service is running on TC port 81. And within the BD board folder off the root on your machine, there is a bdboard.conf file, a configuration file, and in here you can change that port number if you need to. In the same way, there's a configuration file for um, the uh, OEngine server, and that is currently listening on port 8088. It does that by default, and you can change that here. I'm happy with the defaults, so I can go ahead and run up the services on my machine, and then simply locate the Bravo dashboard and start that service and also locate the OEngine server which is there and we can start that service also okay once we've got our services running we can actually go into Open Insight now the first time you run Open Insight you'll probably get to the sysprog application and you can run up the dedicated um, examples for the dashboards by open sbdb and the username is SBDB. So we're going to open up that application now and we'll use that during this demonstration. I've just uh, simply resized the windows but you can see here that I've uh, logged into the application SBDB and the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we've got three volumes attached within the application. So we go to the database manager expand open insight tables and we need to make sure that we've got examples data sbdb and sbdb data all attached in this application they should be by default now you can attach your own data tables here for use within the bravo dashboard if you want to 
however you'll need to make sure that you've attached them first and then stop and start both the Bravo dashboard and the OEngine server services before you can use them. At this point we can close down Open Insight uh, because we can run the dashboards without having to have Open Insight running as well but I'm just going to minimize it for the moment because we'll be back here in just a few minutes. Within the application there is an example dashboard that has been created for a user called RevGuy and that can be run by going to localhost semicolon 81 I need that. Um, 81 being the port that the service is running on and the username is RevGuy and the password is also RevGuy here. When we log in we'll get into our dashboard. Now this is a four widget dashboard for this particular user and the first widget that we have is the customer sales ranking report and this is a TCL report that I believe has got an ARLI statement behind with some porting, uh, some sorting, I apologise. We've also got a pie chart which is showing our sales by category and as you mouse over you get some statistical information you can click and make a slice pop out. Next in this example report we've got a bar chart and this is showing our sales by region and at the bottom we've got a table which is showing the last five orders that have been placed. So a relatively simple straightforward dashboard but one straight out of the box. Okay so let's come out of here and go back into Open Insight and we'll have a look and just see how a widget is created. We'll take the following scenario. My sales manager needs more help in keeping on top of his sales at the moment. Uh, sales revenues are fluctuating abnormally in certain regions and at the present time he needs to very quickly be able to see uh, which regions are underperforming so that the regional sales rep can be questioned and any issues addressed before things get out of control. Um, he's spoken to the developer and between them they've decided that a simple bar graph will be the best visual indicator in this instance because he just needs a very quick snapshot. So um, back to the developer, the developer creates the widgets using Open Insight and we need to go into the system editor to do this because widgets are simply Open Insight subroutines. Once we're in the editor, we can then um, create a new one, but what I'm going to do is open one that exists and we'll have a look at that. Widget subroutines are stored in a table called SBDB subs, so we'll navigate to that now. So SBDB subs, there we are. And the record that we are interested in is sub bar region. There's a few examples in here. Um, but this is the one that we're going to look at right now. There she is. And you'll see here that uh, this is the code for this particular widget. And it's a total of 57 lines long, of which the best part of 24, 25 lines are header information. So these are very, very, very small files. They don't take more than a couple of moments to put together once you're used to it. I'm not a developer myself, so I can't explain the code in detail. Um, but some of the bits that are fairly obvious, um, the type is a bar chart, the title that we want to show, the width, the type. Um, we then go away and we open the customers table. We run the R list statement to select the customers by state with sales year to date um, with some other parameters. We then read the customer record and pass that through to the widget. And obviously when this script is run, it will then display that within the, the bar chart that we looked at a moment ago. I'm going to leave this code alone, but if I had made changes, I would simply compile the routine using the compile button. And Open Insight prompts us to where we want to catalogue the store procedure. Now for widgets, it's always to MD. You never do it to anywhere else. So click to MD, and at the bottom here we get a successful message. Now if any of you have seen the SB++ video that went up on YouTube recently, you'll note that if there are any um, errors within our code here then those errors will show up in the status bar at the bottom and you can quickly double click and go to um, the issue and resolve it um, in this particular interface so it's quite nice. Um, the Bravo dashboard programming guide contains further technical information about creating and maintaining widgets and that guide is located in the BD board folder under the Open Insight installation.